Hello students, this is Perio, Chapter 12, Lecture 1. Risk Factors for Periodontal Disease Periodontitis is a disease that results from the intersection of many factors. Some persons with heavy, mature biofilms exhibit only mild disease. Others with light, dental plaque biofilms suffer severe disease. Untreated gingivitis does not always progress to periodontitis. Additional factors other than the presence of bacteria must play a significant role in determining why some individuals are more susceptible to periodontal disease than others. See figure 12.1 on page 210 for more information. Periodontitis is associated with periodontal pathogens, heredity, systemic disease, medications, habits, as well as social atmosphere. Balance between periodontal health and disease. Biologic equilibrium is a state of balance in the body. In the oral cavity, most of the time, things are in a state of balance between the bacterial plaque and the host. For the periodontium to remain healthy, the bacterial challenge must be contained at a level tolerated by the host. Periodontal disease results when the balance is changed between pathogenic bacteria and the host's inflammatory and immune responses. The balance can also be affected by local and or systemic risk factors. The situation can be thought of as a balanced scale with disease promoting factors on one side of the scale and health promoting factors on the other side. See figure 12.2 and page 212 for more information. The balance swings towards disease when changes occur in the host, such as systemic illness, medications, smoking, poor diet, or stress. The major differences exist in the way individuals respond to plaque biofilm. Even with inadequate plaque control, most patients never progress from gingivitis to periodontitis. Some patients with inadequate self-care progress from gingivitis to periodontitis. If an individual's immune system can effectively deal with a mouthful of periodontal pathogens, no destructive periodontal disease will occur. In folks with low susceptibility to periodontitis, gingivitis may never progress to periodontitis. In a few susceptible individuals, gingivitis progresses to periodontitis. Restoring balance. Many patients are unable or unwilling to perform needed self-care to control bacterial plaque. More frequent periodontal instrumentation can help to control the development of mature plaque biofilms. See figures 12.3 to 12.5 on page 213. It is possible to eliminate local contributing factors to restore balance, such as removing a faulty restoration. It is possible to compensate for local factors that cannot be eliminated, such as good home care around crowded teeth. Patients can work to eliminate systemic risk factors to restore balance, such as controlling diabetes and smoking cessation. If systemic risk factors cannot be eliminated, tip the balance toward health by increasing home care and professional care. See figure 12.6, page 214. At the present time, there are some risk factors that cannot be eliminated or controlled, such as genetic risk factors. 
Frequent professional care can help to slow the disease progression. A risk assessment is used to identify risk factors to determine which patients are more likely to prevent or control their dental disease and to classify patients into high risk and low risk groups. For the periodontium to remain healthy, the bacterial challenge must be contained at a level that can be tolerated by the host. The situation can be thought of as a balanced scale with disease-promoting factors on one side and health-promoting factors on the other. As long as the two sides are in balance, there will be no disease progression. This concludes Perio Chapter 12, Lecture 1.